I want to put together aesthetics and technology in objects that are beautiful, but they also have a purpose. I had this idea to make containers to use my installation. I am working on this beautiful technique called uh, Nerikomi. It's a millenarian technique to make pottery. I am a sculptor and I don't feel comfortable like painting. I like more like working three-dimensionally. And this technique allows me to work in a two-dimensional image, but build it like in three dimensions. When you cut a cross section, you see the design, but it arises from the bottom of the materials. This technique allows me to produce 20 or 30 pieces of the same design, and each of them is equally beautiful and equally valuable. And so I made this pottery, and I want them to be like art pieces that people can enjoy using. What people expect when they come here to see these designs? Our collection is mainly functional. It was not designed for art collector. It's more like for daily use. You can see materials, some of them as a metal, some of them are wood or glass. French philosopher Gilbert Simondon thought about techno aesthetics. For him, is the visual and the useful art, which then becomes an aesthetic experience. Very recently, I discovered Nerikomi technique. Mm -hmm. I like a lot this crossing different techniques with aesthetics and mixing maybe this tidy and perfect Japanese product with my aesthetics. They're really beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> it was 200 years ago when Hegel laid down the basis of traditional aesthetic. He said that art is only related to the theoretical senses of sight and ear. It left out the senses of taste and touch, and the smell also. As Marcel Proust said, flavors takes us direct to our unconscious. This banquet stimulates all these senses, and I see people become children. They are like back into discovering these sensations. To Hieronymus Bosch, the red color was the symbol of sexuality and lust. For this experience, I use different flavors and gastronomies. This is something that you can not see in the internet. This is a real experience. And this is the moment that we have to open our possibilities and our mind. <laughs> 